Now welcome to um, this system here, which is my Alkalinux ISO builder. And we are going to make a new conky. So we have this Aureola Lozoli conky from this particular person up here. And we are going to make sure that it's going to get inside our Arc Linux system. So it's called Lazuli. And we need to download this information. Okay, that's done. Then we go to the download. Let me clean that up before I show you that. That's a lot of rubbish in there. That's the one I need, and all the rest has to go. Delete. So, Downloads Manager, right mouse click, extract everything here, and the one I need is going to be in Lazuli or something. There is an even Lazuli 8 core. Let's see, Control Find Lazuli. Lazuli. That one, that one. There's no picture from it, and I think it's not a good idea since, since not that many people have that many cores. So, just this one will probably do. It has a preview, and it's over here. So, that's what we're getting. Mm -hmm. That's uh, all other stuff we don't need. We're gonna get rid of the Dropbox pile, maybe not. Let's see. And then a conky frolly, so different kind of colors. Frolly is a kind of color. And we need fonts, Ubuntu fonts, and we have that installed or not on Arch Linux. You go to Pac-Man Hour, it's super interesting to just quickly look for things. Is it there? Do we have it? Is it installed? Yes, no, it's installed. What does it bring to the table? These files, TTF, 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 all these things in user share fonts TTF. It's nice to start to learn, learn the directories where everything is supposed to be. So, okay, fonts, no issue, don't need them. This is the conkey, and this is a Dropbox file, we'll see later on, but this one I need. Control C. Then I go to the conkey folder, dot config conkey, Control V. Now everything is uh, named accordingly, so AOR means Aureola, but maybe you didn't know that. So. Those are conkeys imported from my own uh, creation. So AUR, Lazuli, and it's not based. Let's check it again. It's not based on any Lua. You see just bars, bars, no dials or circles or anything, which normally says, okay, it's going to be with a Lua code. Um, so yeah, that's good. And then it always ends in conkey RC. So, AOR, Lazuli, RC. Yeah, perfect. Rename. So, when we select this thing here, Conkey's in. And let's get rid of that. Let's select it. AOR, AOR, everything is there. Lazuli. Okay. Then we get this. Okay, so that's not too bad. Every, everything is actually quite um, looking quite good. But open it up. Let's close everything else. Can we do that? Close all files. Fine. And then this one. And then get rid of that. Put this one up. Put this one there. Drag it to here. And then you start analyzing the code. So I've made it 2018, okay, fine. Um, we're gonna delete this stuff. I have, we can do it all at the same time. I think this is more or less, either of these guys are what, what's for me a basis to start from. So this is what I typed the other, the other day. Okay, Control C. So Lazuli is going to be that information. What does it say? Package data, where it is, package version, forget about it, conkeys, more information, general info about fonts. No extra fonts needed since it was Ubuntu. That's okay. 
So this start here, this ends here, anything that's in here will be just ignored. Save. Everything still works, still works, right? So that's how I just quickly go over everything. Now this is already a new config code, and this is the new config code. You see? So it, it all depends what you have. Uh, there's a space too much. It all depends what you have, and then uh, you have to analyze what does this conky, what kind of language does it have. There is, when I make the article, you'll see at the bottom, there is a difference between conky prior 1.10 and later. So this is a new Lua uh, syntax that is applied, and all the information is well here at the end in Arco Linux, and in Lazuli as well, a little bit, but different so let's fix some things i do not like him to give now this little line that says hey this is aureola lazuli etc that's what i did in aureola conkeys not i don't want to do it in arco linux this one is getting my release lsb release minus d grab the description the description is arco linux could be arco linux d could be arco linux b right so that's good. Um, uptime, so distribution, sysname, base, CPU, 30%, uh, 30 degrees here. RAM usage, free, disk, and some lines. All looks normal. Not reading anything, that might be the case, we'll see later. 10 connections, download speed, nothing. Are we downloading? Could be also the fact that, and that's always something you have to check in any conkey, that is, we go down, we go down, Ethernet, EP address, ENP2SO, or zero probably. So I'm gonna type in ifconfig in my other screen, so my second screen, so you don't see, but I'm going to copy paste, control shift c, the name of my interface, and that's my name of my interface. So anything with this thing, control h, should become this thing, control v. So there is not one interface that's the same. You'll probably have something different. So replace all, and there you go, save, and now you'll see something change here. These things at some point in time should send something and should receive something. Here we see something, right? So you need to change the interface names. So my interface, so that's the fun of being the developer of the Conky. Here it will work, right? Because it's the name of the interface, but you need to change it. Remember, the best thing to do is copy-paste Lazuli, type AOR Lazuli Eric, for instance, and it will never be copied over when you use Scala, a command to get everything from, um, well, etc. Scala. So, fix that one. Mm -hmm. Now, this here is interesting. But, do you install it? Do you have it? Let's have a look. Where are we at? This is the memory. So that's memory, that's CPU, that's this block, CPU block, memory block, Dropbox state, Spotify plane. We are going to get rid of those. Those always break. So no Spotify. And Dropbox, I'll just see my icon if it's playing or not. Save. That leaves us with this, which means, uh, okay, do I need this still? I don't think so. Let's see. Fine. Mm -hmm. So this block here, processes and all that, that's this thing here. And then we start with the month thing month thing so vnstat 
all these VN stats you see here. If you don't have VNC stat installed, it will not be working. And I wonder, did we install it? It all depends on Conkeys. So the VN stat is installed, in my case anyway, I'm not sure on a clean Linux. Let me pause here and check. All right, fine, it's installed. So no issues there. Don't need to do pseudo pacma minus s, etc. Then we should see at some point in time some elements. So VNCD stat minus i. So he's going to execute a command, this command here, which we just changed. Remember, we just changed these elements. So I think we'll just have to wait until this uh, all kicks in. But VNSTAT is just to monitor how much uh, did I download today, how much did I download this week. So receive, send, upload, download, and monthly. You can ask more, but it's the VNSTAT command. So I guess this icon could be imported. We've done some coloring, so yellow coloring. Don't know why I still like this yellow thingy. So this bar here changes its color when it goes to the left. Is it not be maybe better to go for a orange kind of look or just neutral white? I think I'm gonna for go for neutral white. So that's all up to you to change it if you don't like it. So these things up here, so graph. That's probably something to type in. Graph, find, 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 find. CPU graphs. This is the first CPU graph, CPU one. And this color is Control C. That's still open. Control V. This is the color that we're using now. Question is, and is it a good color? And you might think, hey, it's more yellowish. Yeah, probably it is, but it's exactly that color and it's conky and it's transparent and everything counts. So maybe I think it's just to keep for this one safe and everything is white. So you can check it out now if you like it or not. This one is going to be white. Here you see already this yellow thing and that's what one of the things I don't like. This line being partially yellow and then white then better everything in white. So this one, Control C, save, save. There are other graphs. This is a CPU graph. This one is read writes, read writes. Disk input output graphics. Here's the yellow thingy, you're out. And shouldn't I have another one. Here he is. Safe. So these four things have been fixed. This is still yellow. This is about received something. Down speed. Lego IP graphs. Here's a graph. Save it. Save it. Everything is white. So all the elements here are white. Maybe you don't like the Linux at the top being all strange colored, orange colored. It's color two, it seems. This is color two. If I say forget about color two, you're now color six. Then you have also white for this one. So it's up to you then to change the number back to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So I'm going for a more neutral kind of look. And this orange is color two. So color two, if I say by experiment FF0000, then it's this red. Okay, so I now I know this color two is not the orange I thought it was. Okay, 
So might it be color one? FF0000, zero, 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 zero. safe. Color one is red, fine. What I wanted to try out is how is a color like CC, 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 all letters, numbers that are equal, it's hexadecimal by the way, then you get gray, some kind of gray, or rather, um, control save, Eric. Well, okay. And the more you go to, like, say, one, 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 the more it will be black. But black against black is difficult to see. How about a a a a a a safe? Hmm. So now we have a grayish kind of um, look. I don't think we have one yet. Um, all grayish and all that. So why not try it like this and define our lazuli like this. Now the size, you can decide to change the height. So the height is still the bottom, so everything is covered here. Uh, we could make some, some spaces since we have some room left here. It all depends on your distro of, of on your screen, of course. This is 1080 from top to bottom minus the panel. So making this bigger, with spaces and all that, I can add spaces in here in between. We could show you, of course, just by making some spaces, everything just gets more filled up. And between processes, I can add here a space between conky and, and memory here, and everything will be just filled up and given more room. But depending on your screen, it will be probably quite ugly. So I'm gonna leave it as is. You know what to do, add some spaces in between the lines. If in here, for instance, I don't know, somewhere where you think you feel it's necessary to have something. We might, I think, all agree that processes might, um, yeah, might be an advantage and it might be better than this one as well. That's not much, it's just a line here, a line here, and um, this gives us more. A block kind of feeling this is that that's that that's the all about networking here ethernet maybe one more for ethernet and that's stop there safe so we have a block of internet we have a block of processes memory and all about uh, hard disks here is a little bit all together so it's still um okay four screens we still have some room here and if you delete again these lines you'll get everything back up so that's cool all right um i'm gonna call it a day i think this will be our lazuli a new conky that you can install it's kind of cool i think it's it's um I'm, i don't mean it's cool but i mean it's it's neutral so it goes with this wallpaper and that's uh yeah, it's variety making all downloading all these things <laughs> good all right oh, look at that okay even with white it's still okay all right i'm pretty happy happy with it so that's going to be your new conky and this is how we created it all right cheers